Hello there, Sierra Nevadans. Dr. Evans here with an update about our hospital here uh, and just some COVID updates as well. I just did a uh, town hall, a countywide town hall on UBINET with some folks. We had uh, Ryan Gruber, who is the lead over the Department of Health and Human Services, Alinea Stevens, who's a physician over at Chapa Day, Dr. Roger Hicks over at uh, UBIDOX, and also Scott Kellerman, who's our public health uh, officer. So um, we talked about a number of different things and you can access the town hall if you go to Ubinet's website, it's a YouTube video. So it should, the link for that should be available now. One of the things we talked about is just where are we in this whole vaccination process? Uh, at this point, we've gotten about 15% of the population vaccinated. Um, there's a number of people who will probably not wanna get vaccinated or aren't eligible for the vaccine. Uh, but so we have quite a ways to go still before we get to that point of herd immunity. And one of the questions that's come up and, and people have asked, including on the town hall, was, uh, well, what about people that have already had COVID? Should they get the vaccine as well? It really is recommended. Uh, and here's the, here's the situation. When somebody gets ill with COVID-19 or they just, they just get an infection, um, it doesn't trigger the same exact type of immune response that a vaccine triggers. And so the vaccine actually looks like it's more effective at long-term immunity or at least long-term protection than getting the infection one time. So we're still recommending that people get a vaccine even if they've had COVID-19 previously. Uh, if you have questions about that, by all means, check in with your physician, uh, but it is a general recommendation from the CDC. Uh, one other thing that's going on right now is that this vaccine distribution process has really been quite a logistical challenge across the state of California. Uh, one thing that has changed is that now Blue Shield is the third party administrator for all the vaccine distribution throughout the state. So that has created some uh, changes and challenges. And what may end up happening is it might, might be harder actually for some folks to be a vaccinating place, a vaccine clinic or, or pharmacy. We're not to totally sure exactly how this is gonna pan out, but uh, we're partnering with the county to make sure that as vaccines come in, we wanna make sure that we are getting them into arms. So the hospital may be doing actually more vaccinating. We've already given out about 3000 vaccine doses here and we'll continue to do that as well. Um, also volunteers, a lot of people have asked about volunteering for vaccine clinics and other things related to COVID. And we wanna encourage that, especially folks who have medical training and a license. So a license to practice medicine or a nursing license. So if you're one of those people and you're wondering how to volunteer, go to the Nevada County website, my Nevada County website. And then if you actually type in that little, little search bar, disaster volunteer, it'll show you a link that you can register. And then we can use you in vaccine clinics and other folks can, folks can use you in vaccine clinics to actually do the vaccination or other things that are needed during these very uh, complex clinics. We really appreciate your help. A lot of people have been volunteering quite a bit and uh, it's made a big difference for our county. So we're in this thing together. We're gonna get through the pandemic. I really appreciate all your support and we'll give you some more information and updates next week. Thank you.